When it comes to human fears of the animal world, snakes and spiders are right up there, but the fear of snakes is a little different. A spider and a snake meet in the woods, who comes out alive? Don't always put your money on the snake. Venomous spiders can prey on snakes much larger than they are. A typical dinner menu for spiders might include insects, worms, or even small lizards and frogs. But some arachnids have more adventurous tastes. Spiders can eat snakes up to 30 times their size. Here it's snakes that should perhaps be scared of spiders. Take the Australian redback. Not including legs, a female of this species of spider is only about half the size of an M&M candy. But she can take down big prey, such as the eastern brown snake. It's one of the most venomous serpents in the world. The spider's web is a messy tangle of silk whose long, sticky threads dangle to the ground. A snake that mistakenly slides into this trap may get stuck. The redback quickly throws more sticky silk to subdue her struggling victim, then chomp. Her bite delivers a powerful toxin that eventually kills the snake. As you might expect, large spiders such as tarantulas were among those most likely to take on a reptile, but they weren't the snake-eating champs. Instead, a spider family known as the Therididae, which includes black widows and their kin, were responsible for capturing the most snakes. Even more curious, all spiders of the world combined would weigh an estimated 25 million tons and they would kill about 400 to 800 million tons of prey per year. There are hunting spiders and web-building spiders, and they each have different strategies of attack. For example, tarantulas are hunting spiders that don't use webs to catch their dinner. Tarantulas are equipped with powerful upper jaws and produce neurotoxins effectively targeting the snake nervous system. Often, a tarantula tries to catch the snake by the head and will hold on in spite of all efforts of the snake to shake him off. After a few minutes, the spider's poison may take effect and the snake becomes quiet. Beginning at the head, the spider crushes the snake with its shellish cirrhae and feeds upon its soft parts. On the other hand, web-building spiders like black widows rely on a sticky tangle of threads to ensnare their food. The webs are very strong and tough, enabling spiders to capture prey many times larger and heavier than themselves. When a small snake slides into such a web, it sticks to the vertical viscid threads. The spider approaches the snake, throws sticky silk masses over it, and bites it one or more times. While dying may not happen quickly, it may also take the spider some time to finish its meal. This usually takes several hours and sometimes several days for a spider to feed on a snake, which can be explained by the fact that a snake is always a huge prey item for a spider. Often a spider is not capable of ingesting an entire snake. That is, a considerable portion of the snake cadaver may not be consumed by the spider. Usually scavengers, ants, wasps, flies, mold are finishing up the remains. The best snake slayers are tangle web spiders. They're named for messy webs built close to the ground. This group includes North American widow spiders and redbacks. Relatively small, these spiders can catch snakes 10 to 30 times their size, while tidier orb weaver spiders make organized, well-shaped webs. They look like those seen on Halloween decorations. The fact that small spiders are capable of killing much larger snakes is very fascinating. And that's how nature works. If you like this video, then make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos in the future. Also, hit the bell icon to stay up to date and be the first one to watch our latest videos. Let us know in the comment box below if you have any suggestions for our future videos.